Hello, hello. Good afternoon, guys. It is another day here in the beautiful city of Ella, Sri Lanka. And in today's video, guys, we are going to go on some adventures, see what some of the best things to do are here. But to be honest with you, I think the first move is to head over to a local coffee shop. I actually need some faster internet because I found something very interesting about Sri Lanka. And after going to a few places where there was very fast Wi-Fi, I have found that there's a limit. And us YouTubers tend to figure that out because we have so much footage we're constantly uploading, especially me, because all these raw footage videos that comes off my GoPro, they go to my editor, so it requires so much internet. So anyways, guys, you probably don't care about all that stuff, but the reason why I'm telling you this is because there's basically like a 25 gigabyte limit at most places, except basically like huge establishments, maybe like corporate buildings, uh, bigger hotels. Then they have more of an unlimited package. Of course, it's very expensive, so only the large places can afford it. So that's why a lot of these places we've been to, maybe the internet will work well for, yeah, maybe an hour or so when all three of us, me, Ali, and Hari, me, Ali, and Hari are on the Wi-Fi. And then after that, it kind of just shuts down on us. And that's because we're hitting the 25 gigabyte limit. So we've kind of been struggling with that as we travel city to city. But luckily with some of the nicer hotels we've stayed at, we've been able to make up for it there. So yeah, guys, my little rant, maybe for some of you that might be interesting for you to know kind of how the Wi-Fi works here. Because normally, not normally, but in most countries I go to, when you have internet at your home or business, it's usually unlimited. You don't pay per gig. That's pretty much only when it comes to cell phone data plans. So yeah. Now you're probably wondering where I'm at, where I'm going, and I'm actually walking through the village roads here. Our hotel we're staying at, which is the Hyde Ella here in Ella, obviously, is just right up down the road. And so we're walking down the hill by we, I mean me and you guys joining me on this journey. We've got uh, Ali and Harry doing some other things at the moment. So we're cruising over to an internet cafe. That's where this whole rant came from. Not really a rant, just for me to share with you guys in case it's helpful. Um, so we're cruising down now. I think I've got a good place in mind called like Rainbow Cafe. And we'll stop there, see how it is, and show you once we get there. So guys, we are coming up onto, oh, hello my friend. What does he got going on over here? Little coconut session? Good afternoon, my friend. How are you? Subodasana, Komadama Chan. You have uh, fresh coconuts here? Oh, one for me, please. How much is the coconut? 10,000. How much? 10,000? 10,000? How much is one coconut? Freshly sliced coconut? One of these ones. Oh, one of, which one's the good one? This one or this one? Uh, this one's better or this one's better? Let's try the 200 one, please. This is a fresh coconut. You can see he's got the uh, the proper knife slicer. Oh, he's gonna chop. Oh, and there we go. It just pops right off there. And now we're gonna get. We're gonna see how Mr. the uh, gentleman gets it. Oh, oh, and there we go. Oh, and that's how you open that thing. Just chop the side. Starts to come off. And boom. Wow. You really gotta watch where you're going with that knife because one false move that could take a finger off. It gives me a little anxiety just looking at that, guys. But uh, you really got to take off like multiple layers. It's probably maybe uh, three, four centimeters off the top. And then now we're chopping the top right open. Oh, that knife's pretty clean there. It's turning the uh, coconut black. Yum. And oh, we've almost got a hole. Boom. Oh, and we're fine. We're, we're making way. And it looks like it looks like we have a successful coconut opening. Like good. good. Oh, astute. Good. Oh, perfect, good. Machan. Oh, curd, Machan. What other thing, Machan? Machan curd, Machan. What's a curd? Oh, no, thank you, Machan. Oh, this one, 230. Breakfast, lunch, dinner. Oh, very nice. Um, let's see here. Looking for the change. You keep the change. Stute, Machan. Thank you. Guys, that was an impromptu, spontaneous stop to get a coconut. Might as well get a little revitalization. And if you watch my videos, you know I'm not really a huge fan of coconut, but Ali, Luke, and Harry told me that I need to try one here. They've all had the coconuts. Actually, I don't know if Harry has. Maybe he has. But I was like, you know what? I'm gonna give coconut another shot here. Here we go, guys. I'm a little nervous because there's been a few times the coconut did not sit well with me. So we're gonna try it out, though. Oh my God. I'm not even kidding right now, actually. I think this is the first coconut water I have ever had where I can say I actually like it. Huh. Oh, 
up guys this is dangerous the only thing it is obviously sitting out here in the hot sun so it's a little bit warm i can imagine having a little ice in here and having a cold coconut that would do the trick because uh, the warm one's not the greatest but the taste is actually much better than i remember because i've probably had most frequently like your traditional coconut juice that is a bit more like um I guess store processed and you know it adds that coconut flavor where this doesn't really taste like coconutty you know like uh, if you imagine just something that tastes like coconut it's a very distinct flavor whereas this just kind of tastes like a, a natural water with a very light coconut feel to it ah, delicious guys it's funny I'm looking over there that sign says uh, your choice but it's supposed to look kind of like the I guess it looks kind of like the YouTube logo but oh they're closed up top I was gonna say we could have them make us a little shirt over there Entire coconut finished, guys. Wow. I am impressed. Let's head over to the coffee shop. Stute Machan. Thank you. I think Machan just went and bought a bunch of lottery tickets with the extra 1,000 that I gave him. I guess I gave him a 900 tip for a... Or, no, it was 200 for that coconut. So I gave him a nice little 800 tip. Really nice guy, old timer. So, made his day. And hopefully he'll win big on that lottery ticket he just bought. So, guys, we are cruising over. We're looking for... Rainbow Cafe, that's Buds and Beans. There's a lot of cafes in this area downtown. In a previous video, we took you guys through here at night. Obviously, night versus day is gonna be a much different vibe to it. Here, it's more relaxed. In the evening, you can see or hear like a lot more music, lights going on, and it's quite nice. Hello, Machan. Hello, Machan, come. Thank you, Machan. All right, we're cruising around. We got the uh, salesman out, nice people over here. But we're looking for the Rainbow Cafe. I'm gonna check the GPS. We gotta be getting pretty close. We've got, it looks like another, 80 meters to go on the left we've got a beach party going on over there it sounds like and the nice part guys you got everything you got your ATMs restaurants tea shops spas you even have accommodation right downtown it is nice if you plan on spending time going out and like hanging out at night going to restaurants staying close to the downtown is definitely key from just what I've seen like it's just so nice being able to walk back to our hotel to and from in about you know five or six minutes five minutes on the way down because it's downhill Maybe 10 minutes on the way up because it's uphill. So here we go. Local taxi stand right there. We got Sri Lanka's craziest bus driver. Hello, hello. All right. And we are still looking. There it is. This looks like the spot we're trying to go to. It is called Cafe Rainbow. It looks quite inviting and busy. So that's a good sign. Cafe Rainbow. Got a few levels here. And let's see how we get into this place. Hello, Machan. Do I know you? Is the entrance up here? Ah, thank you. Hello, Machan. Subo Desina. See what we got going on here. Komada, Machan. All right. My friend, do you have a uh, fast Wi Fi here? Thank you. Fast Wi Fi here? Yeah. Perfect. Uh, where is the Wi Fi fastest? This floor or that floor? This is Okay. And it's faster here or here? The whole place, yeah? So maybe I sit here? Thank you. Perfect. Stuti Machan. Hello, Subo Destino, my friend. All right. Maybe this little couch vibe is the spot. We've got a nice view in here. So as you can see, we've got table seating here up top. Maybe we'll take you for a tour up there in a moment. And then over here, you can see nice views, Cafe Chill. That's also what my buddy uh, Cody had recommended, that it's a great spot to go to. Looks like it's also the spot to be. So let's go ahead and sit down here. We'll check out the Wi-Fi and make sure it's fast enough. If it's not fast enough, might need to move over to another spot. But uh, anyways, guys, if you're thinking about coming to Rainbow Cafe, we've got a lot of different options. We've got, uh, it looks like many different types of drinks here, both alcoholic, non-alcoholic, depending on what you're into. Of course, tea and coffee. That's what it's uh, probably most known for. And food all day. It looks like you got a lot of vegetarian options. Maybe it's all vegetarian here. I might have seen that on the sign walking in. Smoothie bowls. Had I not already eaten breakfast, guys, I would for sure be getting a smoothie bowls, like acai bowls or anything like that. Super healthy are a great way to start the morning out. But um, yeah, that's Rainbow Cafe, guys. The menu looks fantastic. Guys, we are running a uh, speed test on it now. So it looks like download speeds here are 13, 12. Oh, what are we going to get to? Oh, 13 megabits a second. And what are we going to end at? All right. Upload for... Oh, oh, we're dropping. Severely dropping. Hmm. It's not the greatest, but you know, I think it's going to have to do. I think it's going to have to do. Hello, my friend. Um... I'm looking for something that's uh, non-alcoholic, something cold, maybe a fruitini. Yeah. Which one do you recommend? Like a passion delight? Yeah. Oh, oh, that's ah, it's ice cream. What about just like a juice? Yeah, juice. Oh, 
Oh yeah. Smooth shake and juice. Ah, very nice. Okay, so maybe then I'll I'll go with the pineapple carrot and ginger, please. Pineapple carrot. And yeah, yeah. This one. And then uh, I think we'll start with that for now. Yeah. What's your good name? My name is Loxidate. Loxidate. Nice, yeah. nice to meet you. Mac, it's Thank a you. pleasure. Thank you very much, my friend. Thank you. <laughs> Perfect, guys. So he's going to hook us up with one of these delicious juices right there. So that's where we're, we're going to get it started. And the drink has arrived, but also the hair man has arrived. Hello. The man needs to get some work done. So we're going to see what we can get done here with the uh, limited Wi-Fi capabilities. But as I told you guys, we've got a uh, delicious pineapple, carrot, and ginger for four ninety. I didn't tell you the price. So that's roughly $2.50. Let's test it out, see how it is. Mmm, nothing like a little fresh juice to get us going. Wow. I don't know why, whenever I have fresh fruit juice that has ginger in it, it's just like one of my favorite flavors to have in the morning. It just gives you like this like load of energy. As much as I want to slam this one like I usually do, I've got to savor this one. So we ended up getting uh, iced tea mineral water and then Harry also got the uh, pineapple carrot ginger. Comes out to about 1600 for us to uh, enjoy those. So very good, very refreshing on a hot day. That is roughly $8, so not too bad. We're gonna go to another place because I think we burned through all the Wi-Fi here. So let's go. Let's go to the next place and burn that Wi-Fi. <laughs> Thank you, see you next time. All right, let's, I guess we're gonna have to see what other places have Wi-Fi around here. I'm sure they all have Wi-Fi. Question is, who has the best Wi-Fi around here? We got Cafe Chill right over there, bro. That looks pretty chill. Looks very chill. Hey okay, guys, we're cruising down a little bit more to see if we can locate another cafe. As you can see, downtown right now, it's pretty chill this time of day. About 3 p.m. on a Wednesday, a little past lunchtime. John, and so. Oh, thank you, Machan. Oh, thank you, Machan. Oh, that, there's your answer right there, bro. To go down to, uh, where's the one with the W? Hey? Dick Well, 13,000. Ooh, How all much? right, 13,000. I was just checking. Thank you, my friend. How much is it? Uh, I don't know yet. I was just curious, guys, to see how much it costs. So from here to Dick Well, it's about 13,000. So that is roughly just under $75, maybe $73. Oh, sorry, not $75, uh, maybe $65. Uh, Cafe 360. Oh yeah, we checked the Wi-Fi here last night, didn't we? Guys, we basically gave up looking for Wi-Fi, so probably isn't very entertaining for you guys anyways, but for those of you that are considering coming here, just keep that in mind. You'll probably want to get a hotspot when you're in one of the main cities, and that'll take care of your issues. But I'm actually here with uh, Mr. Jagger. We're walking up the hill. He's carrying his laptop. He's still hoping he's going to find Wi-Fi, but I'm pretty sure that's a lost cause, bro. Yeah, I think so too. Yeah. So we're actually uh, walking up this hill. We've got mountain views on the right side and zip lines up top, so we're getting to see finally more of Ella. Yeah, so we'll see if they let me on, guys. I only have flip-flops on right now, but I feel like it'd be all right in Sri Lanka. Anyways, my feet aren't really going to be touching the ground, so we're going to be ziplining down the side of a mountain. So, yeah, we'll see how far of a walk it is. I'm guessing it's got to be a bit of a distance because a guy offered at the bottom of the hill where the sign was if we wanted to tuk-tuk up, but we decided to uh, politely decline and get the exercise in after burning off all these calories we've been eating. Wow, guys, look at that. Obviously, the GoPro does not do justice. It's a wide angle, but let me tell you that these mountains are towering in the distance, and I love this about this area. You can just see a tiny little modern part of the world sticking out of this natural wonder there with the road right along the side there, cars driving up. After flying my uh, drone around here, I've realized, whoa. <laughs> whoa. Move. <laughs> he understood that. Hey, Move out of the way. Hey, boy. Who's a good boy? He's just hanging out. Oh, got a fly there. He's just hanging out literally on the side of a hill. It's got to be a solid workout to climb up that. But I will say, when you're grazing up there, you got a uh, one-of-a-kind spot because not too many other cows are going to want to work that hard for the grass, but it's as fresh as it gets over there. What do you think, Sire? Yeah, he's done well. He's living the dream. Yeah, for real. So hard for some. I know. If I were a cow, I'd be chowing over there too. Guys, we're at a crossroads here. The uh, road actually forks. One leads down this way. I believe it's... it's... Zip line. Yeah? Stuti Machan. Stuti Machan! Sri Lanka. I'm from UN. I'm in USA. Komada Machan. No Machan. Komada. Hey, hey. Handoi, Handoi. Hondai, Hondai. 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 Hey, Hondai. Hondai. Hey. How long Sri Lanka? Uh, six weeks. Six weeks? Uh huh. Oh, very far day. Oh, yeah. Lots of time here. You know, oh, we gotta wow. explore the whole country. You got good English? Yeah. Very good English. First time Sri Lanka? First yeah, time, but not the last time. Okay. Mm -hmm. After you go into Nine Arch, 
Oh, I think so. Oh yeah. Doing a little bit of everything. Tomorrow we're going up to Adam's Peak. No, not going to Adam's Peak. Now we are? Yeah. Oh, we're going to, we want to get to the, the, the zip, zip line. line. Uh, now you're going to zip line? After you going? Uh, we don't know yet. Uh, Tangal, Udavalava, Hikka. Not sure, not sure. Somewhere nice. Okay, mm, you can like, you have a taxi? Some places you're going. <laughs> ah, yeah, yeah, good, good man here. Yeah. How old are you, by the way? 14. 14. Yeah, yeah and you? 18. 18. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's good, that's good. Alright Machans, it was nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. I'll buy something off you. <laughs> what do you have? I have a full ice cream, full cock, pina cock. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This one, like, uh, You can try this one, like. It's okay, it's okay. Can I just use this to uh, put my... Like, it, like... Ooh, uh, that's, that's for Harry. I'm okay, I'm okay. Uh, let me just, uh, what else do you have? You see? Oh, nice. One cold, and after this one. Do you want anything, bro? Uh, yeah, I'll take a water. I don't have any small change, so. Two waters, please. Water? Yeah. Oh. Wait, 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 wait. Okay. And I just, sorry, I'm having a bit of a pain right now. I just okay, have okay. to, I just have to do some work now, Jake. I just have to, uh... He's got a remote workstation, it looks like, going on here. I'm just disconnecting my hard drives so I can put it in my bag. There you go. Thank you. Okay, you're welcome. You're welcome. Thank you so Stuti much. Stuti Machan. Okay, Stuti. Stuti. Have a nice day. I'm actually going to leave this water with you as well because uh, I, I have no space for it. Okay. Okay? Okay. Nice to meet you. Thank, Thank you, Machan. You, nice to meet you, Machan. Thank you, Machan. Thank you, Machan. Thank you, Machan. Thank you, Machan. Goodbye, Machan. Cousin. Cousin. Oh, yeah, cousin. Yeah, yeah we're cousins. Yeah. Stuti Machan. So I just looked it up on the GPS. We're walking up this road, guys. It's about a 10 minute walk for us to get over to the zip line. At least that's what the GPS says, so we'll see if that's true. Now it makes sense why the guy was asking us if we wanted a tuk-tuk ride. But it's a nice little stroll here, guys. We're literally walking through jungle area. All right, as you can see here, we are almost to the zip line. Now it's called Flying Ravana Mega Zip Line. So hopefully that means it's gonna be a big one, a thrill ride. And then this way is actually to Little Adam's Peak. So here we go. The adventure continues. Hello, Machans. Hello. Uh, uh, which way to the zip line? Yeah. Through here. Stuti, Machan. Stuti. They're building something over there. Looks like a certified vibe. Like kind of like Tulum vibes over there. Wow, with a mountain tower in the background. That's incredible. These are the views we're walking along, guys. Honestly, if you're down for a little exercise, I'd recommend walking up to the zip line, not taking the tuk tuk. Especially on a sunny day like today. Like this in itself is pretty much an excursion, a bit of a nature trail over here. All right, guys, and after maybe 12 minutes or so walking, we've got the uh, zip line ending there all the way up here. So it's actually not as long as I kind of imagined it, but that said, it'll still go fast enough where I think we'll get a fair amount of speed and it'll be a uh, proper thrill ride. So here we go. At least we got some steps here. Bro, if that's little Adam's peak up there, it's actually not that bad of a hike. It's probably just a bit deceiving. I bet it's like you go up that first peak and then you see like, you know, another two, 3,000 meters you gotta go. That's this one has a Speak this other speak little yeah, yeah exactly oh, okay, yeah. guys here we go we just went up all these steps and we're getting up to the zip line now looks like a pretty modern hangout spot over here i think we got to buy tickets in there to the right and then oh here we go now this is where it all happens quite a few things going on over there atv in and everything hello, oh. hello my friend oh we have guns is it possible for us to do the zip line yeah, yeah. Okay. okay perfect perfect uh, we have another person coming as well okay, okay. <laughs> Fantastic. So you can feel need to fill that form, Lisa. Yeah. No problem. All right. So what's the cost to go on a zip line? Four thousand rupees. Four thousand rupees. All right. So that's about twenty bucks for us to go cruising. I'd say that's a deal. How fast does it go? Eighty kilometers per hour. Eighty kilometers per hour. Ooh. All right. We'll be saying full speed ahead. We have signed a life away here, aka the uh, waiver. But uh, here and I are experts here. We've done this from the tallest building, the was it the uh, highest urban zip line in the world in Dubai. Yes. Yeah. And this one goes 80 kilometers an hour, so not as fast, but it's gonna be a thrill ride. So 4,000 just paid, and now we're gonna go get our gear on right over there. Today's a big day, guys. We have Mr. Ali Machan. I am out of breath. It's not because of the cardio. It's because I am scared. <laughs> yeah. Ooh. I figured the second we called him, because Harry and I, like I told you guys, stumbled upon this place, yeah. he would get an immediate pump of adrenaline in his mind and a bit of nerves going, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, goes, uh, it only goes 80 kilometers an hour, it's 550 meters, it's nothing, bro. Okay, so... Yeah, uh, quick and easy, yeah? Instant death. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Perfect, bro. It's going to be a good time, though. All right, guys, we're walking from one tent to the other here. We've got the gear room. Hello, Machan. Hello. Komada. Hi. 
Uh, perfect. Hyundai as well. All right, so this is where we uh, we get all set up, yeah? Hello. Perfect, perfect. Hello, hello. hello. hello What's your guys' names? Uh, I'm Rayshan. Nice Rayshan, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Yo, Harry. Harry, nice to be two guys. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. And, and your name? Keep your bags in the local. Right. Nice to meet you. Yeah. Perfect. So we're going to go ahead and get locked up in number four, guys. This seems like a safe one. Rayshan, how shall we do this? All right, we got one in. Yeah, yeah. And we've got number two. All right. And boom. Oh yeah, we're feeling good. Safe and sound. Has anyone ever fallen off? No. That's good. Perfect. All right, so we're getting this on nice and tight there. Stuti Machan. I'm from the US. And you're here from Ella? I'm from Gold. Gold. Oh, very nice. So how long have you lived up here? Oh, you like it? Uh, you can't answer on camera, no problem. Well, the views are beautiful, that's for sure. The mountains. Take this. All right, thank you. When I um, Oh yeah, helmet's on nice and tight. Could smash my head against something. Right. And we're tight and ready to go. That's a good sign. Stuti Machan. Thank you, we'll see you on the other side. Thank you. All right. I won't ever forget I'm filming, you know? Yeah. Perfect. So uh, where to now? Yeah. Uh, this way, yeah? All right. Oh. If you turn it this way, it uh, makes it a little harder. Yes, and you go there. Oh, turn right. Stairs. Oh, thank you. Stute Machan. All right. So it looks like we've got a proper hike ahead of us. And there's only one way I can hold the camera, guys, because it's uh, it's actually duct taped. I'll show you how he's there. Yeah, yeah. So that's that's your only option. And here's where we're heading to. We've got uh, the zip line bros up here. Oh, they have a nice little viewing deck down there at the cafe, actually. Oh, and a little music going on. All right. I can dig it. All right. Hello, Machan. Hello, Machan. Hello, Machan. Hello, Machan. Very good. <laughs> oh, yeah. We got our Machans up here. What's your good name? What's my your name? name? Uh -huh. I'm Milan. Milan, nice yeah. to meet you. My name's Mac. Welcome, okay, Max. Nice to meet you. Too. Thank you so much. Perfect. So, this is the uh, the fun one. Oh. oh. All right. Good thing we got a helmet on, right? Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, exactly. The helmet wasn't for the zip line. It was for walking up here. You are from? Uh, I'm from the U.S. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, perfect Machans. You guys ready or what? <laughs> Let's go! <laughs> can you do it actually? Can you actually hang me by my foot? <laughs> foot? <laughs> <laughs> no, that's it. I'm just kidding, Machans. I want to survive another day. Yeah, yeah. I'm enjoying Sri Lanka. I don't want to yeah. die here. Oh, there we go. Perfect. Okay, ha. Huh. Yeah, most important thing don't touch the zip wire. Don't put your fingers. You can hold this handle rope by one hand. Mm -hmm. And when you reach at the end, make sure lean back. Lean back. Perfect. Yes. There's automatic braking system. You will be stopped automatically. You have nothing to do with it manually. Perfect. Right. Hold the seat down for me. Oh, yeah. How you feel? Oh, I've never been better. I uh, can feel it on my back, yeah? That's normal? Yeah, yeah that's normal. Sweet. Yeah. Right. Stand up. All right. Ah. I'll check you again, no? Does it fit around the biryani belly? <laughs> <laughs> okay, take it off your mouth. You oh, perfect. Hold on one second, we uh, make sure that thing's fully off there. Don't worry, I won't be giving the birds COVID on my way down. What's your name, bro? My name's Mac. Nice, nice to meet you too, my friend. Yeah. All right, oh yeah, the Machan's gonna be going. Here we go. Yeah, All right, I can run and jump? Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, here we go. Three, Ali, you gotta take notes, bro. You gotta do this. three, two, one. Oh! Oh! Coming in hot. Hello. That was fantastic, my friend. Full speed ahead, as we say, guys. Full speed ahead. There we go. Uh, proper landing there. We're going. Oh, we're going up. We're going. Round two. Oh, got my balls there. Oh, perfect. Shoot, Amichan. Thank you very much. Oh, all right. Okay, come slowly down. Oh, fantastic. All right. No, no, no. Thank you, Machan. Oh, thank you. Get him. All right, so we're getting undone, guys. That was a proper ride. The nice part was when you laid back, you just looked right up at the clouds. All right. And we have been cleared from our harnesses. Okay, now take this here, just take it. Thank you so much, Machans. We'll see you. Can I stand right Can I stand right there and film my friend coming? Thank you. All right, it looks like we got, uh, is that Harry and Allie going head to head? Harry and Ollie, Ollie's probably screaming right now. 
Oh, there he is. And they're coming in. Look who's winning. It looks like... It looks like Ali took the win. There we go. How was it, bro? That was not bad. <laughs> Man, the guy loves heights now. How was it, Saya? Undie. I need a chicken thigh. Bro, you're no longer afraid of anything. Ooh, so that last five minutes was a blur. Yeah. What I remember is I was on the bed editing videos. You called me, and then five minutes later, I. You're, yeah, you're doing the craziest thing you've ever done in your life. <laughs> I think we're getting a ride up here. Oh, pulling right up to us. Do we just hop on? All right. Oh, and we're in. Wow, Oh, there we go. Maybe we can see if they'll take us on a little safari. What do you guys think? Hello. Oh, very nice. Yeah. I think that's why they want to get us back up there so quickly. Uh, yeah, yeah, exactly. For round two. Back to the zipline. Hey guys, we're on a uh, ride back now, and it's uh, definitely crazier than the zipline, I'd say. <laughs> and some bumps flying out of the seats. And we got uh, four, four filmers here. One, two, three, and four. Whoa, almost hit my head on the metal pole there, bro. Uh, I don't know. Oh, dude. I think the Brit's going mad. <laughs> And we we survived it. Yes, very fun no, time. Very nice. Uh, Machans. Oh, oh yeah, we gotta go in here, Machans. Come here. Ah, perfect. Thank you, Machans. We'll see you next time. See you. See you. All right. The man faced his fears. Next time we gotta triple the length, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. We just grabbed the quick little tuk tuk ride. Mr. Uh, Jagger did the full negotiations over there, so stop by his channel to see this guy. He's hilarious. Really funny. 500 to get us from the uh, zip line spot back over here. And uh, yeah, we're arriving over here at the uh, the Chill Cafe. So this is our, our last place. We're gonna show you guys in this video and see how fast the Wi-Fi is here. So thank you very much, Machan. Very nice guy. Stute Machan, we'll see you on the other side. All right, bro, this is, uh, this is apparently the most well-known place <coughs> in Sri Lanka called Chill Cafe. It's a certified vibe. All right, we're entering into a uh, Chill Cafe here. Oh yeah, I can already tell you, it feels like a vibe in here. Hello, Machan. Subodawasak Machan. Best bar in all of Ella, yeah? Perfect, perfect. So where do we go to uh, sit down and enjoy the best Wi-Fi and the best beverages? Where's, where's the, where's the Wi-Fi box? We want to be closest to the Wi-Fi. Hi, boss. How are you? Sunday? Hey. Um, you have good Wi-Fi? Perfect. Should we eat upstairs? Yeah. Perfect. Okay. Good chat. Thank it's you. Small. It's small. Small? Sri Lanka is small. Very small. Nice country though. Good people. Yes. Thank you, my friend. Fantastic discussion there. Oh yeah. As you guys can see, all around here, a lot of seating. It's a little darker on this floor though. It seems like from what I've seen with the uh, photos that uh, up top is where it's at. But let me tell you this. It's a uh, it's a popping spot. We're heading upstairs, chill, chill, and relax. Oh man, look at that. They're prepping up some big stuff. It smells delicious in here. Oh wow, that does smell good. And the question is, wow. I don't know if we're gonna be able to find a table very easily. Let's see here, hello Machan. All right, we've got a table reserved for an honest YouTuber. Right over there, yeah? With, with outlets, bro. All right, as you can see here, we've got uh, quite an open area reserved, yeah? Oh. That's a bummer. I was gonna say it's too good to be true. For, yeah, for three? Perfect. Oh, so we got a little time then. Stute Machan. Alright, the hairman has some reactions going on right now because we were coming here because we heard it's the best Wi-Fi oh around god. here. Oh my god. 61, 50. Oh, it's going down. 47. Upload? Yeah. No way. I knew we should have came here, guys. If you remember earlier in the video, I literally asked Harry, I was like, should we go to Chill Bar? He's like, no, no, bro, it looks too busy. And then we took Harry's recommendation and the Wi-Fi signal was there, was like 0.1 megabits per second, so. But I recommended us to go this time, now. Exactly, he redeemed himself. I redeemed myself. Let's get a little, uh, you, got, you got me, bro, a little takeover for a second? 61 download, 39 upload. This is the best we've had in Sri Lanka. Is that not wrong? Yeah, this, or, I think this is probably the best we've had in Sri Lanka. Yeah. yeah. For sure. So the real question will is, will it survive three YouTubers hopping on the connection? So guys, here is Chill Bar for you. As you can see, definitely Foreigner Central here. A lot of seating. It is just about dinner time, 5 p.m. And it is pretty busy here. 
almost every seat is taken. The ones, the seat that we were walking over to, uh, I was like, oh, this is too good to be true. We've got this whole area. There was even outlets over there, but of course it's reserved. And I believe this table is reserved until, it's gonna be reserved at seven. So I'm telling you guys all this for one reason. If you're coming here, make a reservation. If you plan on chilling all day, if you plan on using some of this Wi-Fi, because if it actually survives multiple YouTubers right now uploading, that means we have found the best Wi-Fi in all of Ella. And if I'm wrong, drop a comment below. Anyways, guys, what we got on the menu here is, let's pop her open. We got the uh, chill spot here. Got a little juice bar, so you know that uh, I love myself a delicious juice. So I might even go for one of those detoxes, get something clean in me, get something ready to go. We got good breakfast options. Won't be eating that right now for dinner. Burger, yeah, a lot of Western food here, I will say. Wraps, burgers, sandwiches, pizza, pasta, chips, and chef special sides and snacks. And we have, oh, Sri Lankan food as well. So that's really nice. They have so many different things on the menu here. You got many options. And if you're into desserts, which I am, I'm not sure if I'm gonna have one today yet, but we shall see. Teas, coffees, and also lots and lots of adult beverages if you're into that so i'd say this place is uh it's the gold mine what do you think bro it looks amazing it mm -hmm. smells amazing yeah yeah exactly that's one thing i always tell uh, my subscribers i'm like i wish you guys could smell what i'm smelling sometimes not all the time like in the fish market in colombo that time you don't want to be smelling what you're smelling but when we're walking into some of these delicious restaurants let me tell you delish so we're gonna go ahead and take a look here order something and uh show you guys once the food arrives so guys we've actually teleported tables now we're sitting here we've got uh, better city views you got the uh, mr go with ali with a fresh burger you ready to chow down brother yes oh he's ready to go and you see the hair man he's already chowing on his penne pasta oh Whoa. oh and he almost destroyed his laptop he'd be shipping back to britain real quick i wouldn't be expecting that <laughs> yeah and uh, there's my other seat. So what I got here, guys, I got the uh, margarita pizza add ham, thin crust here. So let me just go ahead and uh, there's only one way to try this. And that is to just go. Oh, all right, guys, I had to pause there because I literally just chowed on that thing like there's no tomorrow. Anyways, let me just tell you this, guys. They, the pizza is very good. Like, keep in mind, we're in the middle of Sri Lanka in a mountain town. So you can't expect pizza from Rome here, but in terms of uh, how good it is, I'm loving it. And to be honest, guys, if I'm straightforward with you, I don't think I've ever in my life said a pizza's bad, because I've never had a bad pizza, because that's how obsessed I am with it. As Harry likes to say, but I'm just putting this in his mouth, it is za time. <laughs> it is za time. <laughs> yeah, there we go. How's that penne, bro? Oh, I feel like I'm, I'm gonna start speaking Italian soon. Bella ciao. <laughs> this guy's pretty much fluent at this point. So that's pretty much all I'm gonna share with you guys. It's just pizza, so it's delicious. Chill bar is a really good vibe here, and uh, been a fun time exploring today. Both showing you guys the uh, different Wi-Fi spots. Once again, this is the place you want to be if you want the best Wi-Fi around. We've been testing it. I have things downloading and uploading, and the chill bar, even when it's this busy, is still holding out. So that's great news. And uh, yeah. Fun time zip lining, fun time cruising around with the boys as always. So make sure you guys check the link in the description below. We got Go With Ali in the description and we have Harry Jaggard in the description. So once you give my uh, video a quick like and a subscribe if you're not already, head over to their channels and I'll see you guys in tomorrow's video.